Hello everyone, I'm Giuseppe Amano. Welcome back for this full tutorial step by step of how to paint a horse. I divide this video in three parts. The first one is a blocking, the second one is going to be a modeling and fix some of the color that I did in the first video and fix the shape. And the third video, third part, is going to be on details. You're going to be able to see all my mixing that I make very easy because easy is better. And I will talk through every brush stroke that I make and every one of my thoughts on making this beautiful painting. Okay, so I'm starting this painting and uh, I'm gonna mix the first color using some liquid. Now, everything I mix during the first stage, just a little bit darker, and the paint is more fluid. I use a pretty big brush for the first coat. And I uh, usually start uh, with uh, with the darkest color first. So I don't get very stuck, like try to figure out the right color. Now I use a combination of burnt amber and ultramarine blue. If I want it darker, I just put more ultramarine blue on the mix with the burnt amber. See, I try to don't get too precise my brush work. Try to be loose. Did a sketch of the horse first. So I'm trying to figure out all the darks. Now the color will change. I'm gonna change brush. And use a uh, So you see, I'm trying to be very, my paint is very fluid. I 
try to cover up the canvas and my mixing try to keep them very simple especially my first initial stage I have a picture in front of me of the horse, this beautiful horse I took the picture myself I took lots of pictures and decided to use this one Now when I paint everything I start after I get my decision Usually, your color darker than you see. That's why I maybe start a little bit lighter and after I'll fix them. It's the first time for me to paint a horse, but when you paint, If you kind of know what you're doing a little bit, it's all the same. If it's a, a portrait or a landscape. Now this painting Uh, when it's complete I'm gonna be donate to a society that they help horse that they're in trouble or they're sick they find um, they help them getting better they maybe sell to somebody they want to take care So it's a good, uh, I will always do something like this for donate a painting for people that need some help. Now I'll grab a little, see some color blue, throwing blue, burnt amber, I add a little chromatic black. And we are the nostril. I use my brush. Very light in some parts and maybe just with the corner. Sometimes I use all the brush. Now I'm gonna try to make some lighter color. Just a touch lighter. And uh, I forgot to add white.
that's really weird. Can't believe I forgot. More essential. Color. Add to this. Now when I mix color, what I do, I uh, watch my picture. There's not a recipe to mixing color, really. Just kind of see what you need. Now, if you see from the picture, it's not that I'm going very light or follow the real color is there because I'm going to change it. Because if you start worrying too much, the first stage to nail the color, I like more. Don't worry much about that at the first stage. And block in. Some color. Per stage, if you start, remember when you start painting, when you start a painting, you don't see much, like, and sometimes it can make you quit a painting. That's what happened to me. I said, oh, this don't look good. I start another one now. You gonna continue and work. You have to continue and work until you make it better because you can always add color, modify it, the form, color, shape, everything. So this is the ugly stage of a painting, I guess. That's how you can call it. Now I leave my pain very fluid because doing this you can uh, still see your sketch underneath if you go on top, if you put a lot of paint. And plus, I start with fluid paint first and after I add more just color and no medium and get more texture at the end. This is the way that I paint sometimes. I use a different technique. What to make me make everything more easy for me is like how very loose the first the first coat. I don't worry about the the color, the mixing. At the first. So I'm looking at the picture and get all the shape, kind of, get some shape. And put it here on the canvas. See, I, I use almost all the same color for now. I don't change much. Now I'm gonna mix a darker color. A little bit darker. I'm gonna separate my dark from light before I lose it on the sketch. A 
let's look at the picture and see where there's shadow. This also is beautiful. I have uh, two choices. There were two horses that I could paint, and I decided to paint this beautiful. So, when you paint this kind of modeling, like a um, sculpture, a little bit. You try to follow now. I don't use a bigger, uh, small brush because if you use a small brush, you're gonna be too technical. From the beginning, you know, I think, in my opinion, you're going to waste time. I want to finish my first coat pretty quick. And after working on that and start fixing shapes and color. Important thing is use just couple of color at the beginning, dark light, because this is not alla prima. If you paint all alla prima, like all at once, that's a different story. But if you do like I do because I'm gonna do the first coat, work on the first coat and maybe um, let it dry because I use liquid so I'm gonna dry in a day and after I'm gonna come back the next day and paint already again on top so you don't have to really worry much now I add a different color, I add a little bit more blue some white because I see they shift here a little more. And uh, you gotta see this little shift of color sometimes that and uh, in your mind ask ask yourself what that goes to, what direction it goes to red, yellow, blue. So you change your color until you're not happy with, even if it's not perfect, I just want to give a little indication. You can see from the color is very slightly different. Just a touch of my liquid. Don't put too much because it's not good. The ratio should be one part liquid and three part paint. Now here in the mouth, I see they go more in the grayish blue. A 
and put some of that here. Now you see in this stage I really don't blend much. Just try to give a the first impression for me. So I can change after and as I say, first stage is the one that I never like it when I start, but now I really enjoy because I know that from the first stage I see what's going on, if I'm in the right path or not. See, sometimes I just use the same paint that I have just to block in everything there. here on his eye here because I can see some grayish now we're not gonna be near the eye I'm gonna start using small brushes so that's why I left it like this for now I'll go just around here, stop there. Okay. Is this part of the mouth? The mouth. Now, as I say, this is my first time painting the horse, so. But. A lot of practice, a lot of painting one day. You're not gonna be scared or do something different like some people that first start, they start doing. For um, example, they always paint uh, landscape and they try to paint something else, they get all excited and say, oh, maybe I cannot do this and that. Oh, you can do it, I'm sure that you can. I'm gonna work a little bit on uh, the. I don't know how to call it that, no, really, but... Yeah, I'm gonna go a little bit more brown and reddish. See how this look. I always put the first... I put a little more blue. Just put a little bit. First, and look how if I like it or not. Now you see, I go very dark first because because it's more easy go lighter if you have dark or if I put too lighter I gotta put dark and after put on top some highlights so I just go lighter first uh, darker first always in my paint and after I can add highlights they show a little bit easier now I know the color because people say what color are you using I call it just darker than the other one. Go 
because I want to see the difference between the horse and, and another object around if I do all the same. just to put everything together here. Okay. There's the same color. Do the first sketch of the horse. You can do if you are a good, uh, you're good at sketching. You shouldn't have problem. If you are not very good, you can use uh, a projector, or you can use a um, how they call. Like divide your canvas in one, two, three, four. Do the same on the picture that you have. And that's gonna be a little bit more time consumer, but gonna be very precise. There's a lot of any artist use different technique or now you yeah, see. Okay, there's something here, this, let me get it more lighter. And I'm just gonna go like this for now. Okay. See, these are, those are little, uh, Details that I can just put later. Most of the time I just put there so it looks better on the first coat. Okay, now for the, the hair, you have a white hair, but I'm not gonna go the white. I always gonna go a little bit darker. Try use a, maybe a little bit lighter. Because I always leave my lighter tone and my darker tone for the end. Now you can say why I cannot just put white there. Well, it wouldn't look right. If you add some white on top, this darker tone that I'm putting here. Plus, most of the time, the white that you see is not really white. And at the beginning, I say I always start darker color. And 
and you will see the, the first uh, stage of the paint your horse is going to look a little bit um, no abstract uh, I can say a little bit like very very loose painting Okay, we start giving something here. I'm mixing some of the shadow. When I'm painting, la, the shadow are very important, sometimes more important than, than the highlights. If you have a good shadow, you're gonna get Awesome highlights. That's what I learned. Okay. Now we will start with the eye. stage is done I'm gonna work on the eyes and the background I'm gonna do a simple background just all black so let's start with the eye I'm gonna start using a smaller brush now gonna keep more attention now see how this color is this very very dark a little bit lighter I'm using burnt, burnt amber red oxide and some ultramarine blue yeah I will add some Indian yellow I'm going to pay a little bit more attention here. some of my chromatic black into the pupil and what I watch is like the shapes any little shape that I see I'll put it there and put some of this color that I use on top now I'm gonna put my straight dark darkest dark
Okay. Let's go all around. All right, guys, we are done for today. This was the first part. And next week, I will post the second part. They're going to be modeling. And modeling is uh, change, uh, work on the form and change some color. Because as you see in the first part, I really try to block in the color and don't think much. So I will put the link right here. If I already posted, it's in the future. Or you guys got to wait one more week. Next Saturday, I will post this video. I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you very soon. Ciao.